Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to NCAA Next 23. Um, today, we are playing our third game on the year against Missouri. Now, I think this is going to be a tough game, especially because I thought Kentucky was going to be a, you know, a competitive game, and we got dogged, and I thought we were going to dog Colorado, and that was a competitive game. I just don't, man, I'm, I'm a little worried that I've underestimated the the Malik Cunningham injury, you know. Um, we got our court, both quarterbacks missing, you know, throws and stuff. Uh, the Cardinals are not in the best way right now. I know it's early, no reason to panic, but, you know, we got a tough schedule. As you can see right there at the top, combined opponent score as it stands right now is 24 and 14. That's uh that's pretty good. And Kentucky, by the way, is no slouch of a team. They're ranked number eleven. Um, they are four and zero. So maybe they're better than what the game is saying at a C plus. Like I do feel like some of the uh the team overalls is a little messed up because it is modded. Like they are not no C plus team. Uh, they are four and zero, and they beat some some pretty good teams. So. We lost to them, and then we beat the Colorado Buffaloes, who are 0-3. And, so, and they are B plus overall team. So I don't think the overalls are necessarily correct. It's, you really got to look at their rosters and, and break it down kind of thing. And I'll say this, man. That's why I'm worried. Because Colorado isn't really that good, and we struggled to beat them. And we've seen what happened when we played Kentucky. That was just embarrassing. So, looking at our opponents right now, Missouri is 1-2, and two, but uh, this is a team that I just, uh, I'm nervous because, well, look at their rush defense, and if we cannot run the ball, I just don't think we're going to win, and they are the second best team in the nation for rush defense. I believe... That rush deep, that number there means they only give up 24 po uh, yards a game. That's quite insane, to say the least. So I'm a little worried here. We'll, we'll do the best that we can to win. Um, I'm going to update you guys on the recruiting class later down the road. Alrighty, so, so let's go ahead and break down their team. They have Brady Cook starting for them um, in this one. Um, and then freshman, uh, freshman that looks to be on almost the same level, man. If not better, we'll have to keep an eye on this guy, Sam Horn. But um, moving over to running back, that's where they're going to be a little more dangerous. They do have Elijah Young, 92 speed. We're going to have to stop him somehow. They would have Cody Schrader, but he took an injury, a massive injury. Uh, this poor senior, man. We've seen a lot of seniors get hurt. This guy and then, of course, Malik Cunningham. So it will be Pete probably getting some. Another, you know, they're pretty deep at running back. Nothing. Nobody too crazy in the 80s, but still. At wide receiver, once again, man, look at all these 82s down the board, man. Um, you know, nobody that's fantastic, but that's that's pretty decent. One thing I do like when I see is uh, they don't have speed besides Cooper. Mookie? Mookie? I hope I, that's how you say it. Mookie Cooper. Anyways, tight end. Tyler Steffens. I mean, this is a really just... Solid squad across the board, no really big holes, but nobody too big besides Isaiah McGuire here, 89 overall, and then uh, Je Jeff Coat, 88 overall there, and DT Josh Landry. Oh, this is going to be a defensive line battle. Uh, old outside linebacker Devin uh, Nicholson, middle linebacker Chad Bailey. We'll have to keep an eye on him as well. A lot of 80s across the uh you know 80s across the board here 88 overall Chris Abrams uh Abrams Dre and then Jalon Carlys and Martez Manuel okay you know what I'm I'm worried about the secondary I struggled playing um last week man through what two three interceptions something like that pretty embarrassing day for the quarterback play, so hopefully we can play better. Maybe we got to get the run game going, though, and that's why I'm really worried about this one because they have the second best of run defense in the league. If we can't run the ball, we're going to lose. So let's go out there. Let's try to get our second win as a head coach here. And, um, you know, I don't know. I'm a little worried about this one, 
but let's get it. Um, Buck Doman, I think that was his first name. Was was it Buck? I think it was Buck. Yeah. Doman though, he is going to be getting the start. That's what I've decided here, and hopefully it works out. Um, if we have to make a running back change, we will. Evans did not do anything, but he also didn't really have much help with the O line. So hopefully. Today is going to be a little bit better. Let's uh, get on the field. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Right now, chilly and a little bit of rain in the forecast for tonight's game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Tigers of Missouri. Hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. And here come the Tigers. The Cardinals are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Louisville is led offensively by their quarterback. And he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. I agree with you. Watch out for the Cardinals. I just got to wonder, where do you get those things? Helmets, mascot heads, I mean, every game is something new. Three wide outs here. Cook pops back on first down. Here's an opening. Missed tackle. And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice kick. The Tigers line up with three wide. Cook to the air on first down. Wants to throw outside. He has him on the fly. Wow. Nice catch. Ball on the 20-yard line. Cook lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Here's the give. Big opening. Touchdown, Tigers. An impressive run as he finds the end zone. Yeah, he's got skills. First and 10. Ball on the 24. Louisville comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. One man backfield. Setting up the play action. Look out! And they couldn't hook up on that one. He overthrew his tight end. Back to pass. Looks. Comes across the middle. Almost intercepted. 39-yard Missouri comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He rolls out to the right. He guns it to the left. It's deflected. The safety got in there. Number 90 boots it way up there. He drops it. He just couldn't pull that one in. Please down out of it. On the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, Tigers! Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. For back to take what the defense is giving you. Number 19 with four wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He rolls out to the left. And they got it. I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. That guy didn't need guards. Come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Over the middle. He tries to spin. Manual with a takedown. Good pick up by the receiver here. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. He can scoot. Louisville comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Play action. He's looking deep down the left side. Incomplete. The quarterback had a tough time on this drive. Drop back to pass. Looking. He rolls left. Throws it to the outside. He's on the run. And they finally knock him out at the 13-yard line. What an amazing. The guards line up in an eye formation. He drops back. 
He's going left. And it's complete for the touchdown. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, the quarterback said. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Someone got a hand up. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. Makes a move. Brought down at the 41. They come out in a goal line set. Cook back to pass. Into coverage, and the defense has it. This defense just warms to a pass when it's thrown like that. And that's because of two things. Pressure on the quarterback and being in his own defense. Everybody's facing the play, and if you don't throw a perfect ball, it's going to... Louisville sets up with four receivers. He drops back, looks, rolls to the left. Aaron and out long. And he dropped it. That time, the wideout just got too... He steps up. He's under some heat. Robinson comes away with a sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to. The Tiger, with four receivers, throws this one out to the right. The ball on 33. Ace backfield. He's into the open field. Clark with a monster hit. And they get a nice game. Nickel defense. Cook drops the throw. Looking. This one's thrown deep over the middle. He has him on the fly. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very The guards come out in the ace formation. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. And it's incomplete. And he overthrew. The Cardinal line up in an eye formation. He drops back. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. He's going to air it long. It falls incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Let's it fly. That is ball. That close to being intercepted. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looks like he was trying to catch a grease pig. Easy scooter. At least he kept his... Missouri lines up with three receivers. He tosses it short, and they couldn't hook up on that one. The big tight end got it knocked. Missouri comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Complete to the true freshman. Pick up a five. Cook with four wide receivers. He's hit and got away. Montgomery with a takedown. Well, it depends on where they spot it, but it looks... And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Missouri, 21. Louisville, 7. Plenty of time to find the open receiver. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. Conley comes to the line with three wide. Conley gives it up the middle. He's into the open field. Across midfield. And he's all the way down to the 46. He picked up big yardage on that one. I'll tell you what, Brad. They need to keep giving this kid the football. He's on a run. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. Broke away from one. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Louisville. Unbelievable. That guy's one of the fastest we've seen all year. Oh, just a blazer. You can't teach that guy kind of running. That is just pure speed. One man backfield. Cook drops back to pass. Looks. He's looking down the middle. Got it to his receiver. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He drops back. He steps up down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolute formation. 
Drops back to pass. Short draw. It's deflected. That's what a good pass rush can do for you. Yeah, they got the court. The Cardinals come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Bailey with a mud The cards line up in an eye formation. On the ground, up the middle. Bailey with a take. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He drops back. The ball is tipped. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock. From the gun. Cook back to throw. Throw short. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Ends up in a goal line set. He's rolling right. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Missouri. Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back at the football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off. But my hand goes off to whoever called that play. Missouri comes to the line with three wide. Cook drops the throw. Steps up in the pocket. Looks across the middle. Batted ball. He's asking to get. Missouri comes out of the shotgun. Looking across the middle. Got it to him on the run. That's how you. On the 40 yard line. Bunch formation. Let's it go. Into traffic and it's picked off. That last INT gives this defense two on the guard. Set up in the gun. Conley on first down. Rolls to the right. He keeps it. He can scoot. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the it off him. See you, sweetheart. Ace backfield. Jordan on the run. Emmanuel brings him down. A gain of eight on the carry. Back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. He keeps it. Brought down. And he scrambles. Conley on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. The cards set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. The defender could hold. Conley back in the gun. He drops back. He steps up. Looking across the middle. Incomplete. They turn the ball. Cook steps back to pass. He's looking. He passes it. And he got it. That was a big time play and a new set of down. I think. Seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense... The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo pack. Rolling out to the left side. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Some... Nice play fake. End zone! In and out of his hand. There's no excuse. Comes in to attempt the field goal, and this will make it a two-score game. It's up, and it's right down the middle. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. High snap as he works from the gun. Looks. He's going right. Got him on the run. They'll bring him down. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the hearts. With four receivers, Conley drops back. He rolls left. 
throws this one out to the left. Manuel with a monster hit. Got a stat for his coach. They'll throw on first down. Looking, rolls right. Down the middle. Complete. And he's tackled. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. Comes across the middle. He's right there for the interception. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Louisville probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Missouri 31, Louisville 21. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, man, that was rough. Um, I'm not going to hang around here too long because uh, i mean this is just this is painful the biggest takeaways here we're going to be winning games we would have won this game if a we didn't make that stupid mistake on special teams i i'm just going to start fair catching it from, from now on because if i run away from the ball you know as if i'm not going to touch it I, the cpu my cpu team players still run you know for the ball and end up touching it so and that gave them a touchdown there right so if we, if we eliminate the special teams mistake, which I'm going, you know, from here on out, fair catching it. If I'm not returning it, I'm fair catching it. I don't care where it's at. All right, we eliminate that. That's seven points away from their score. And then if Wiggins doesn't drop, if we stop dropping open catches, dude, we, we would have points, man. It would have been 28. Uh, we would have had 28 points, man. We just got to stop dropping and stop making special team mistakes. I feel like we played good um, in the second half. We played very good offense, man, in the second half. But um, we got to play better throughout the whole the whole game. But, uh, you know, you can take away seven points from their score. You know, that gives them 24. And you could add a, a, a touchdown to our score, 28, if Wiggins catches the ball and we don't make the special teams mistake. That's a W. We beat Missouri if, you know, we freaking play better football, man. It's so cool, though, in this game, as you can see, first quarter, Missouri leads 7-0. Uh, Missouri leads 14-0. It tells you, like, you, modern day Madden doesn't do that. Like, you just get the scoreboard. But, like, for instance, you don't know who scored first kind of thing. So, if, if both teams scored seven, just seven points in the first quarter, who scored first? Well, you're not going to know that in modern day Madden, but in this game, you will. Uh, in this we're down 14 to 0. We make it 14 to 7. Then it's 21 to 7. They score right back. Going 21 to 7 in the halftime. We score. 21 14. Then they score. 28 14. We just could not catch a break. 28 21. We were just behind them the whole time. And, you know, then they get the field goal. 31 21. Again, if we take away a touchdown from them from the special team's mistake, it's 28 to 21. And then if Wiggins catches that damn ball, um, I guess I would make it 28 to 28 or excuse me, 24 to, to 20. I don't even know. Dude. I'm so, I'm just so, this is, it's frustrating, man. Cause I feel like we, you know, we did play competitive at least against this good squad. I mean, this is way better than last week, I guess. I'm trying to stay positive. Um, Conley seemed to play better. Uh, than, than Brock the man. Uh, I just don't know, man. It's so, you know, back and forth. There were a couple mistakes, man. I feel like, you know, the four, we, we got to get better on third downs. Um, if, if we want to, our offense has got to get better. Um, even without the mistakes, um, it, it's got to get better. Um, I like Conley because he can leave the pocket a little, a little more. He, he kind of showcased that today, picking up a, a couple first downs, but you could see in the second half, the big difference was running our run game. Uh, J Jahar Jordan, we gave him the first start of the year just to try something new. He's a lot quicker. He's way smaller, though, but he, but he, so he's got so much speed. And it, it was the biggest factor, man. He played way better. He broke off that big two, two drives, two handoffs, touchdown. I mean, he was, he was getting it. 
Um, we haven't seen that since week one, so that was good, but just not enough. Wiggins, I, I can't help but, you know, like, if he's supposed to be our number one guy, we don't have a quarterback. He had three drops today. I know it was raining. Three drops, and one was wide open. We're not going to win. We need a wide receiver. We need to, to get a wide receiver ASAP. I mean, this was horrible. Five targets, three drops, two catches for 21 yards. I mean, he should have a tutty. Uh, Huggins bro did good. I mean, he had the um, the big catch he, where he didn't drop the wide open one, but just very disappointing from D. Wiggins, man. I was so excited for him and uh, just, just uh, you know, can't help but, but think of his name when I think of this game and the loss. Defensively, we, we played decent, but not the best, man. Um, you know, I know the defense isn't necessarily to blame for the loss, but we've seen them perform better. Um, they, the secondary gave up a lot, um, today. They did. They gave up a lot. Um, especially when it came to big plays and, uh, you know, just, there's no reason, you know, if we're, you know, if, if, if the opposing quarterback's throwing double man coverage that, the the wide receiver comes down with it. There's no reason for that. I mean, we let Brady Cooks throw for 300 plus yards. That's just not acceptable. And uh, we we also on offense we got to start capitalizing on our turnovers. Um, you know, I would say against their defense or of rush game, we did do good. I mean, we we crushed their defense run game when it when you look at the stats. There's not enough to really affect the game though. Overall, we gotta improve. We gotta stop making mistakes. And when the other opposing team makes a mistake, we gotta execute on it. And we gotta get better on third downs. Uh, that's really all I got here, man. Frustrating, I know, but hopefully we can get back in the win column. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.